Coucou tout le monde, c'est Capet de Coin Academy. Je suis en compagnie de Eli Ben Sasson, qui est cofondateur et président de Starkware, une entreprise qui est spécialisée dans la cryptographie. Hello Eli, how are you? Hello Alex, I'm very good. Always good to be in Paris for ETHCC. Yeah, so today we'll discuss about Starkware and Starknet. Can you explain the little difference between both, please? Yeah, very simple. Starkware is a high tech company um, that has built a, a technology stack that is now being given to the community in the form of Starknet, which is the leading validity roll up on Ethereum. Okay, so can you give us a little your background? What did you do before Starkware? I started my career as a mathematician and researcher. I was a professor of computer science in Israel. And um, I got drawn into Bitcoin initially and blockchain uh, 10 years ago in uh, 2013. Um, okay. This led uh, th through my research. So I was uh, one of the co-founders of the Zcash cryptocurrency, which uses SNARKs for privacy. And then we had a new and better technology called uh, ZK Starks and that led to the founding of uh, Starkware. And for the past five years, I've been an entrepreneur and only at Starkware. Yeah, and today, so we'll discuss more about Starknet. A few days ago, you released the mainnet of a new upgrade of Starknet. What it is, what does it add? So what it does is it drastically increases the performance. There's a lot of demand for Starknet. And prior to this release, uh, the TPS that we could max at was around six TPS for transfers. Now we clocked already uh, over 50 TPS for similar transactions and the number is quickly rising and is going to continue rising. So we pretty much have enough capacity for the foreseeable future demand. And uh, that's a very big improvement thanks to not just Starkware, there are other teams in the ecosystem like uh, Lambda class uh, that are part of this uh, huge improvement. Yeah, and you plan to do another update for performance uh, soon, I saw the 0.13. Yes, the next, uh, the next uh, major upgrade, which is 13, is going to be all about cost reduction um, by reducing drastically the cost of, uh, of the data availability. And it's going to be through some mixture of uh, volition and uh, EAP 4844. Yeah, so it will be on-chain and off-chain. Yes. Yeah. And it will uh, drastically, so it's going to be less about performance, but it's going to be about drastic reduction in cost. In and cost. then we'll have high performance and very low cost. Yeah. Uh, my friend Abdel also talked about uh, fee markets. Yes. You will add? Yeah. So version 14 coming after version 13 will deal with uh, uh, fee markets because we okay. expect demand to increase even after this even more even though we have like much higher tps and much higher throughput uh, today than uh, uh, other layer twos we think with a cost reduction there'll be a lot of demand so we need to have a modern and intelligent fee market so that under congestion uh, you can prioritize transactions yeah. correctly yeah seems legit and uh, you chose to um Use Ethereum as a layer two. Why? Why not Bitcoin, for example? Well, Bitcoin, uh, unfortunately, we cannot deploy today our technology without a hard fork, even though there are a lot in the Bitcoin community who are talking very favorably about Starks, and I hope uh, they will uh, be able to deploy it. We mm -hmm. support that in every possible way. We funded research about Starks on Bitcoin. We, we love it and support it. Um, Ethereum is the uh, most important, best uh, general purpose computation uh, layer one. And we love it. So mm. it's like really good to deploy on it. Yeah. And uh, you do not plan to go on other layer one like no, Solana? No, or, no, 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 no. Not at all? No, okay. or Ethereum Maxis. Yeah, Ethereum Maxis. But next question, you do not want EVM. I, ne I mean uh, natively. Yeah, so we, we love EVM. EVM is the best language when you're writing smart contracts on Ethereum. However, when you're writing smart contracts to be executed on a validity rollup, there's a completely different set of constraints. Mm -hmm. And we came up with a language that is newer, ha is Rust inspired, gives programmers a much safer, more ergonomic, more pleasant developer experience. Um, I think developers are saying that it is shaping up to be the best modern programming language for smart contracts. And it also gives you extreme efficiency when it comes to start proof generation. Yeah, yeah. So no EVM nat natively, but there is a project called Kakarot. Yes. Who can do well EVM. What do you think about it? Do you think people can come to it or it will stay a niche? 
project. Kakarot is an amazing project started here in Paris by uh, uh, a lot of, you mentioned Abdel, Elias Cazares, and many other like really, really uh, amazing developers who I guess you interviewed, and if not, you should. Mm. Um, it's a community effort um, here also, you know, under the auspices of Only Dust and started there like uh, very, very per Parisian. Um, or French, an amazing project that allows you basically to run native uh, EVM code on top of StarkNet. And, uh, you know, developers are going to have their choice if they want to run native Cairo or they want to run native Solidity on top of uh, StarkNet. Uh, mm. Let everyone choose what they so want. So I see that you like it. Very much. It's like an amazing it project. Uh, the, the best thing about StarkNet right now, it's not the performance or the technology, which are great. It's the ecosystem that is like very decentralized, very fresh, very active, very fresh and very French. Mm. You know, there's a very, <laughs> in, a, like. in a very good and like, uh, you know, egalité, fraternité, <laughs> liberté, very, very, uh, very much. Uh, très bien. <laughs> That's nice. And now I have to ask you the question. <laughs> when token, when Stark? So now I have to give you the answer. No comments. No comments, okay. So you will not know today any news regarding the token, Sorry. but it will arrive one day or another. We, just we, did, we did release uh, information about it one year ago at ETHCC yeah. here, and there's a three series blog uh, that details all we have to say about the token. Yeah, and for now, no comments. Beyond that, no comments. Okay, so how can we follow uh, Starkware ecosystem? Um, go on Discord. Uh, reach out to the uh, amazing French team here, uh, you know, Henri, Abdel, uh, they're f uh, the only Dust team. Uh, just go and like Google StarkNet, go to StarkNet.io, beware of scams. There yeah. are no token sales taking place now, so I mean, beware of these things, uh, but uh, there, you'll find it on Google. Okay, I will put every link in the YouTube description. Thank you so much for your Thank time. Thank you, Alex. Thank you. And uh, if you like it, leave a like, leave a comment. Ciao. In StarkNet, we do like this. <laughs> yeah. More TPS, Daddy. More TPS, Daddy. Ciao. <laughs>